What's going on guys? It is time for a brand new series today. We'll be doing the Teddy Long Smackdown series. But before we jump into that, it is a very big weekend that just passed. We are recording this on Sunday. So night two of WrestleMania is about to go live tonight. But we did get the result of The Rock and Roman Reigns beating Cody and Seth night one. Which was good, but more importantly for this kid from Montreal, it was great to see Sami Zayn pick up the big win. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of night one, and I guess by this time this video airs, what you thought of WrestleMania as a whole, and uh, see what, uh, what was your favorite part of WrestleMania weekend. But enough with that, without any further ado, we'll start getting into the new settings and rules for this series. They are. Again, only one power card per week, having a penalty of $500,000 compared to the other GMs. I must include at least five local talents on the roster at all times. And I think this is the big one, complete every commissioner and season challenge. And of course, playing on extreme AI and game difficulty. So we'll see how things go for us. We're trying to make this as difficult as possible because I'm yet to be defeated on my GM. So we're adding all these challenges. We're gonna see how the new buffed uh, AI difficulty and gameplay work. So without any further ado, let's jump into the series. So as you can see here, this will be the, uh, the uh, opposition for this series. We're gonna go Teddy Long Smackdown, obviously we mentioned before. And then I try to use three of the remaining four people who we haven't used yet, which we're gonna do Mick Foley where he takes over ECW, which I think was kind of cool. Sonya Deville, which her power card is super interesting of power up where she gets um, the, she gets all the three power cards that are available that week. They're all free and they're doubled. So if I was her, if homecoming ever showed up, there you go. That's where I'm using the power card. And then we got Tyler Breeze taking control of black and gold NXT. So we'll, uh, we'll jump in here. Obviously, this is going to extreme. This is going to extreme. I did 3.5 million last time. And I feel that was a bit much. So I'm going to get 2.5 and the AI will get 3 million. Uh, draft order, we'll do snake. Shakeups, I th I'm going to leave on just to see how the, the, the AI difficulty is. Uh, it might be a saving grace if we need it, but we'll see. Uh, draft pool. I made a custom roster here. It's got it as... Teddy, I want to, uh, I'll just gonna select that. We have, I got some notes here. Uh, I got some calls from uh, from Brian who sent in Jordan Oliver representing GCW, like that. And then Bear Mauling sent in El Grangero. So those, I both I put them both as, uh, as local, as local talent. So hopefully scoop them up in week one if possible. And uh, we will do uh, match unlocks. Yeah, as, as we've been doing this whole time. So, uh, so yeah, I'm hoping this is going to be a big, fun series. Uh, let's get it started with the draft. So here we go. I did give myself one tiny advantage. Let's see if he's here. There, there is an unknown bond between The Undertaker and Teddy Long. And I'm going to go ahead and give myself <laughs> The Undertaker as the only advantage I have in this thing because whenever Teddy Long just needed anybody, The Undertaker for some reason just showed up. So that will be the first draft pick we do. But before I pick him, there is a note here. Look at the difference between the cost. He is 500,000. So that's the nerf they were talking about because Rey Mysterio, when he was a, a legend in the draft, he was like, maybe, maybe, one or two popularity higher than the undertaker but his cost was seven hundred and fifty thousand. so that is the nerf they're talking to legends which is good we're gonna go ahead and pick the undertaker nick foley's gonna go with becky lynch big pick for ecw interesting though because they don't have a women's title raw goes to rhea ripley and black and gold going to finn balor like that and then using alexa bliss okay we're all going carry and cross next interesting choice ECW going Jimmy Uso. So who are we going to go with? I think if he's here, which it doesn't look like he is, I was going to go Sami Zayn because he's my boy and he just became Intercontinental Champion, but unfortunately he's not here. So that's unfortunate. I guess we can go with the next best thing, which would, would be Kevin Owens. Uh, Undertaker Giant in this game, so let me get a few with him right away, or maybe I'll just use him if someone if someone comes, 
if someone gets upset. So I maybe, okay, here, I'm going to go ahead and go with the other Montreal, other Montreal guy and Kevin Owens. I also have to watch out though with my money because I can't go all the way to the, to the end here. Oh yeah, it's me again. Then, so actually, then have a feud right off the bat with those two. I have to watch out here because I do need to uh, draft $500,000, no, $1 million worth of wrestlers to then release immediately uh, to give me that uh, 500k penalty. So we'll have to watch out for that. Um, there's enough, I think there's enough talent there. Let me go see, let me try to build the tag team division. Um, Luke Gallows. Well, I didn't let me search here. Well, Carl Anderson and Gallows are there. Uh, and their faces, interestingly enough. So if I were to go them, where are... Uh, and then is Mark Coffee here? Did I just go buy him? No, but Wolfgang's there. So I do have... Gallus is, is, is available. Maybe two bruisers, so that is the only other problem. Um, oh no, Mark Coffee is there. Ooh, good. I'm going to go with them, actually. So, Mark Coffee and uh, I definitely went the wrong way. Joe Coffee. Stamina. Ooh. Stamina not great on Mark Coffee, but okay, we're going to go Mark and Joe Coffee. Getting I'm not sure if I'm going to get Wolfgang because, again, there's no six-man tag matches, but we'll see. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Gallus have, have, were, were actually the the guys who were training The Rock, uh, getting The Rock ready for the uh, the WrestleMania um, <coughs> match <coughs> Excuse me, on Saturday night. So uh, hopefully they have... They, they're they're um, featured on the... The PLE that's happening in Scotland, I believe it's Clash at the Castle this year, is happening in Scotland, so hopefully the Gallus boys get a good showcase. Um, is there any, is there a tag team that will be fighter, fighter, or specialist, specialist? Um, Tyler Bate, and I don't think I saw Butch this time, which is kind of annoying. Uh, no Butch. There is Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, though, DIY. But again, I need to watch out for my budget. Because, actually, I, uh, whoa, okay. Um, Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa are just too much, so that's really unfortunate. Uh, okay, and I have no women on the roster either, so <laughs> that's not good. Um, so what we're going to do then is... Liv Morgan, is there a giant or Raquel Gonzalez? Two faces though, unfortunately. Charlotte Flair face giant. Um, okay. Io Sky is there. Again, I don't have that much money. Um, <clears throat> okay. Nikki Cross maybe. Do I go? G, uh, do I go uh, Tiffany Stratton again? She's. I think she's been involved in every single uh, my GM we've done so far. Um, Chelsea Green being at ten in ring XP already. And that's why is she so cheap? Same thing with Fallon Henry uh, and good stamina too. Um, okay. Maurice, nice. All right, I think what we'll, we're going to do is... I want... I want... Liv Morgan's my girl. We haven't had a chance to use her yet. So we're going to go Liv Morgan. And then it needs to be under 329. So... We can do Bailey and do Bailey Morgan be our first program for the Women's Championship. And now the rest I'm drafting are people who are going to be released immediately. Logan Paul going to ECW. Alba Fire going to Raw. 
Brutus Creed going to NXT. And so is Scarlet. Interesting. All right, so when it comes back to our picks, we're just going to go ahead and pick uh, the most expensive people available, which are... Uh, how do I make this equal? I need... Okay, I'm just going to go Charlotte. Wait, oh, wait. Okay, I don't want to get any bonus power cards. Can I go ahead and see? So Bianca won't get me any bonus power cards, so that's good. It's tough that Imperium was right there and uh, did not go with them, but the whole ECW season had Imperium running the show, so we're gonna go with Gallus. It's the first time we have Mark and Joe together, so that is good. Uh, Natalia going to Raw. Tiffany Stratton going to ECW. Okay, so I gotta do basically 300,000. Whoops. So we'll do Sheamus. That's slightly over, so I'm paying even a bit more than 500k, but that's that's fine. And we got to the 10, yeah, complete. There you go. Uh, just Charlotte Flair, not a part of this part of this team. So we actually have seven people on the roster currently, so we're gonna have to boost that up uh, when it comes time to week one. Cameron Grimes going over to Raw. Solo Sokoa head into NXT. So is Ilya Dragunov. Nice. Blair Davenport going to Raw. Carl Anderson going to ECW. Maurice going to ECW. Okay, and here we are. But OBS decided to crash again. For some reason, OBS hates the draft screen. I don't know why that is, but anyways, here, here we go. So here's what the uh, here's what the rosters are looking like. Both Raw and NXT have one, two, three, four people, four wrestlers more than I do. And uh, we have to release three people, so it's it's going to be interesting. I think we can. Uh, I, th I hope. Th I hope uh, there's actually a difference here, and the the AI actually try to get GMs. Uh, I heard from Brian in the comments who who mentioned um, who mentioned that he played a season and on all GMs finished with uh, with two with two trophies. So that was good and promising to hear. Thank you for going through and uh, doing that for us, Brian. Uh, Teddy Long, good to talk to you. Just ready. I cannot wait to get things started here. We're going to storm this. Let's go. Sonia Deville. Okay. And Tyler Breeze. Sure. Okay. So what we are going to do is... Uh, Kevin Owens Tornado Tag Specialty. Less than ideal. Shinsuke Nakamura Special Guest Referee. Less than ideal. Um... We're gonna do Kevin Owens as our champion. Tag team champions just to get something going. Uh, will be the Ga- uh, Actually, no, we're gonna make them earn that. Intercontinental champion, we're also gonna leave. Um, <coughs> and over on the women's side, it's going to be, I only have, oh no, yeah, okay, Liv and Bailey. Um. We are going to do. I'm gonna I'm gonna have all matches for this. It's silly, I know, but I just don't want to give any titles. So we're gonna just confirm that. Whoa, oh my god! What a card to get right off the bat. Um, okay, I just need to make sure that this is not from one of the people we just picked. I really hope this is not coming from Sheamus, or or. Um, who it was Seamus, Charlotte, or Bianca? Basic morale, good. Basic morale, good. Where's Seamus? Let's go. So who was it then? The Undertaker getting us homecoming. Let's go. It's before week one, and he's already helping out Teddy Long. Love to see it. Um, Free and look at that perk five free beginners luck after each PLE. Let's go. Um, love to see that. Okay, so we got to go ahead and um, I'm gonna release just Charlotte because I I need to sign people now so we just don't get anyone by default. Uh, so Cole Quinn there, Whitney Quaid, Nicholas Mann, Dante Roberts. Um, we are gonna go ahead and search. 
Uh, search one more. Uh, okay. Odyssey Riff. We got some new and chosen. Cindy Fluff. Cinnamon Garrett's back. Andrea Cannon's back. Um, one more. Okay. Argus the Great is back. Matador. And then we're going to go and boost this to uh, established stars this time. And hopefully we get some. Oh, there's Tyler Bate. Okay. Um, and one more. So who do we got here? Joe Gacy. Okay. Walking Wilds back. Any of the. Hey, Jordan Oliver. There we go. So we'll get Jordan Oliver here. We'll sign him. For the to the end of the season, perfect. He's a heel crew. He, <laughs> heel crew. You can go up against. Um, you can go up against uh, the Undertaker right away. Perfect. So we got to get four more on this uh, <clears throat> of these people here. I'm gonna go Cole Quinn specialist again. Uh, it's just always good to have some specials on the card just in case. We'll sign Cole. We are going to go, and I think I'm going to sign Chosen. Chosen is from My Rise also, eh? I think. So, we'll sign Chosen. I think the two others have to be uh, women. Get some uh, get some women on the, on the roster. We only have two at the moment. So, we'll go sign uh, uh, Chosen. And then we got Sammy George, Cindy Fluff, uh, Tamara Tycross. Who's got good stamina here? Whitney Quaid does, and we have something brewing right here in Whitney Quaid and Odyssey Rift. So we'll go ahead and do that. So I, I have not played with Odyssey Rift before, so we'll give her a shot. And Whitney Quaid never ever steers me wrong, so we're going to go with her as well. Sign to the seas for the end of the You don't have enough cash. Oh, okay, in my face. Uh, so that penalty might be hurting. <laughs> um, Bianca Belair, release talent. Okay, now we can go ahead and sign uh, Whitney Quaid. But this is far less money than I thought we'd have. But that's okay. Um, yeah, so now let's go look at the roster. We are gonna we have one more to get rid of, right? Where uh, Sheamus? Oh, it's so unfortunate that you have 88 stamina, Sheamus. Um, okay, go ahead and get rid of Sheamus. So there is our penalty. Of uh, 500k, slightly over 500k, but we still have a roster of 12, which is good. Um, a few built built in rivalries already. Um, the only thing we're missing right now is um, a feud for the Coffee Brothers. Um, I think we we'll have to look to that next week, unless there's two fighters here that we can pair up. Matador and Adrian and uh, Adrian Buck, I guess. Um, sure, I because we we do need tag team matches on the on the show. So these two, I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna do for six weeks, just in case something goes awry at the PLE for the tag team titles. Um, yeah, just in case something goes, something terrible happens, I don't want them leaving with my tag team championships. We want the Gallows Boys to get a chance at a fixed match. Speaking of, let's check some power cards. Oh, there you go. We just got fixed match. Birth of Legends. This, I think, is going to be the ones we're going to play right now. Uh, hold on here. So I'm going to buy a fixed match, like I said, just in case anything goes, uh, goes awry there. Uh, this can get one of the three... This can get one of the three, um, sorry, this can get one of the seven people we just signed to level three. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but we're going to leave that for now. What we're going to go do is check, ensure that Liv Morgan fights this week. Great. Thank you, Triple H. I want to make sure you are happy, so get that right out of the way. Let's check some season challenges and see what's going on. Complete five trades. I think we can do that. Book 10 shows with a tag team callout promo, okay. Book 10 triple threat matches, okay. Book five shows with 12 or more superstars. Okay. 10 shows with a, that's gonna be, I can probably complete that by week five if I wanted to. 
uh, resolve five title match. Okay, book 15 shows with an injury. Surpass 300k in the bank. Yep. Um, wait, that was weird. That was completed before. No, I, okay. Oh, that might be difficult. Oh. I might have to do very little to get this. This is going to be the one that uh, that if I was actually paying attention, I just should have released all three. Okay. Um, wow. That might be the focus for the trades, actually. I might have to trade away a few, uh, a few people on the roster to make sure I just make some money back. We'll see. I, I'll keep that in the back of mind. I, I'm not going to play like I need to be stingy yet because that could hurt the show. And to prove I'm telling the truth here, I'm just going to go ahead and book the concert hall right away. I think uh, that uh, that logistic is, is one of the most important ones, I feel. So, okay. So now let's go to booking the show. We are going to do... Um, uh, a ta whoops. Tag team normal match. Mark and Joe Coffee versus Adrian Buck and Matador. We are going to do um, The Undertaker versus Jordan Oliver. A dream match there. <laughs> we'll switch this around. And we are going to do Kevin Owens versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the World Championship. This will be for the Women's World title. And then we got a call-out promo from Who Has Better Stamina, Whitney Quaid on Odyssey Riff. Who is left? We have Chosen, Cole Quinn, and Odyssey Riff. Okay. Um, I'll have two promo skills. Cole Quinn's popularity of 17 is disastrously low. Um, we'll do that. We'll do him doing a charity and then we will also do, I guess, a charity or a call out from Odyssey Rift on to Whitney Quaid. Maybe get a, a level two rivalry here out of nowhere, right out of the gates. That would be nice. Um, and then just to, just to add a little bit of, of difference here on the card, um, unless actually one of you two have a tables match as your specialty. Extreme rules. How are your staminas? Bailey's stamina is not great. Um, but that is Liv Morgan's specialty, so that'll add a little bonus. So maybe I'll let the women main event. 10-15. 10-15 and popularity 52-58. 60-58. I'm gonna let the, the women main event. Perfect. So I think that's a good week. Well, I haven't played a power card yet this week. So I think I'm just going to play Birth of Legends right away. Yeah. So Liv Morgan and Bailey both getting that booth. And both Coffee Brothers. Let's go. Perfect. So I... And, okay, so Triple H happy. Um, I guess I could use this as a title match. Not yet, though. Not yet. No, I think that's a, it's a good solid start to the week. So let's do that. Book the show. Here we go. Here we go. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Kevin Owens for the WWE Championship. Shinsuke Nakamura takes home the gold in a three-star match. Hoping for a little bit more than that. But I guess a good, a good way to start off the rivalry is at zero. So let's go. Weak promo, but it goes to level one. That is good. Coffee Brothers versus Buck and Adore. Gallus picks up the win. Starts a rivalry good. Two-star match. Not bad. Cole Quinn Charity makes us a few fans. Undertaker versus Jordan Oliver. Undertaker picks up the win. Mediocre two-star match. No rivalry started. That's okay. Because uh, we want uh, the Undertaker to just kind of have in the back pocket in case anyone complains about not getting enough ring time, the Undertaker will be sent after them. A weak promo, but it grows to level two already. So Odyssey Rift and Whitney Quaid, level two promo, or level two rivalry, sorry. And then Liv Morgan versus Bailey for the Women's Championship. 
Liv Morgan picked up the win. Very happy about this. In a four-star match, no rivalry, which is a bit disappointing, but a four-star match on, on, on week one. Very happy about that. Over on ECW, there is no promos booked. Interesting. And all normal matches, but it is a very title-heavy show with all titles ECW have on the line. Over on Raw, Dominic Mysterio versus Braun Strowman for the US Championship. And Karrion Cross, who is the champion, taking on Akira Tozawa in the main event. Okay. And then over on NXT Black and Gold, no promos again. And the North American title on the line in a, um, in a fatal four-way match. And the tag team titles on the line in the main event. Interesting. And Alexa Bliss champion, not putting her title on the line though. Very, very even week. Um, we're the only one with a four-star match though, so cool. Good, good for us. Uh, new rivalry, which is good. Title match, which is good. Um, not bad from them. Tag team chemistry, three and a half. So that's good. Uh, yeah, like that. Uh, two star match, no problem. And then match specialty gave us a little extra bit of a boost. Look at that stamina come down from Bailey for an extreme rules match. Bailey lost twenty one stamina, which is kind of crazy. Um, okay, and no rivalry. Sorry, which again, not the best there, but. We have a level two rivalry here, which is good. So show quality, match card quality B to start things off right away, which I love to see for 45 and a half thousand fans. We made 20 grand, which is good. Mark and Joe Coffey are an incredible tag team. I'm happy uh, that is, is there. Uh, sad to be leaving SmackDown. Not really sure why. Sorry, Seamus. Uh, great match, Bailey. Looking forward to stepping in the ring with you again, says Liv Morgan. No, no one should accuse SmackDown of repetitive matches. They mix it up a lot. It's, it's week one, but thank you. Uh, Adrian Buck and Matador worked okay as a tag team, I guess. That's fine. Jordan Oliver, that's what happens when you go one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker. Fair enough. And Whitney, Whitney trying to lay down the, the law to Odyssey in a promo, but it kind of sucked. Okay. ECW got show quality D, match card quality B as well for slightly under what we earned. So the the uh, charity promo is playing big big part for us. Slightly ahead of ECW. Match card quality C for Raw for just under 44,000 fans. And over on NXT, also show quality, match card quality C, but they played a fan bonus card right off the bat. So they're going to be in the lead. Uh, I wonder what that was. Other fan bonus would suggest that that was special network. Which is an interesting time to play that, but that has NXT black and gold in first place. Uh, we just got contract negotiation for something. I wonder what that's for. But anyways, we are in second place behind Tyler Breeze and NXT black and gold. Three weeks to hell in a cell. Uh, schedule, I hate run-ins. Schedule a run-in on one of your champions this week. Okay. What was the... Uh... Oh, right, of course, the commissioner goal. I should probably check what he's giving me. Vito Star, okay. And I think that's new. Cannot be used the week before a PLE or in week 25. So that's that's good to see. Um, so far, just noted Mark and Joe Coffee work well together as a tag team. Good, I'd like to see that. Um, that rivalry was created, right? Yeah, okay, so that might be... That might be the opener this week. We'll see. Uh, so we got to schedule a run on one of the champions. Okay. Remove all match bonuses and quality boosts. Plus set mass match XP gain to very low for all opposing brands. So I think I'm going to... For all opposing brands too. That's such a game changer. That is new to this... Um, <clears throat> excuse me. To this... Uh, game in 2k24 the to all other brands that's that's brand new and it's it's playing a huge difference so far um tag team call outs triple threat matches let's start getting some of these um yeah let's start getting whoops, some of these opener we are going to do a tag team match of yes yes um we are going to do a triple threat match of um, I want Jordan Oliver in there I want but there's too many cruisers 
we can do this then no title on the line but that should incre oh wait a minute if i do this here jordan oliver and cole quinn interference from nakamura on owens okay i think bailey is going to need the week off or at least cut a promo and so why are you so unhappy what bailey why are you so unhappy i just saw that now well how's everybody else anyone else unhappy no just bailey annoyed well that's annoying um okay that's devastating um we are gonna have they actually i can't give her the week off just yet actually i think i'm gonna have to uh, Undertaker versus Chosen. I was going through all the heels the Undertaker is. And then Odyssey Rift versus Whitney Quaid. They are going to be the open. This is going to be a uh, tag team tables match. No one? No one? Uh, that's tough. Tag team tables match. And then I think that'll outdo this because of their rivalry. And just to make sure, I try to add an extreme rules to that. And then I, we have two left. We're going to do a call out from Morgan on Bailey. And then same thing, a call out from Bailey on Liv. Um, so I'm doing... So next week we have to do the, the Gallus boys calling out the, the other tag team. Get some sort of those going triple threat match. We're getting one here. Book five shows with 12 superstars or more. We're going to get that again. Uh, 10 shows with a call out promo. We got that. Oh, that was fixed. I'm pretty sure this gave you one point every time there was a call out. So now it's just one show with a call out. So that's good. Uh, without an injury, uh, book 15 one on one matches. That should be relatively easy. Okay. Okay. So that's good. Uh, one of your oh one of your champions i almost lost week two okay so we'll do this 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 now okay that makes triple h happy good uh okay this is gonna be make that a tables match just for a little something extra yeah, we're going to do that. Okay. An unbooked pom uh, promo slot. I hate to see it, but uh, that's where that's going to stay. Power cards. We could... The, oh, yeah, the homecoming. I got to... Uh, maybe I'll use this right after we see some trades and whatnot. We'll go uh, search for a legend because I, ca I can't believe that's what The Undertaker got us. Really helping us out. Uh, okay, good. Um, we haven't seen any thrown together tag team matches yet um but we need <laughs> we need that to happen we're gonna do more of those from from teddy long um but this is how this card's gonna look this week costing thirty eight thousand dollars we're good to go starting with nxt black and gold it is the tag team titles are on the line oh yeah but it wasn't with Ilya and julius okay but they're still vacant though very weird okay <laughs> um Normal tag team opener, and then Alexa Bliss puts her title on the line against Raquel Gonzalez in the main event. Over on Raw, it is Axiom versus Elton Price, and then a th triple threat for the US title. ECW sees the tag team championships on the line in the opener, and a main event for the ECW championship, I believe. Or that could be a tag team match I can't see. It just says normal. Um, over on SmackDown, here we go. Odyssey Rift and Whitney Quaid opening things up. How are you ladies going to do? That is, that is awesome. A three-star match between two local talents who are on zero in-ring XP currently. Love to see that. That grows to level three. Good promo from Liv Morgan. Perfect. Triple threat match. We got Nakamura, Jordan Oliver, and Cole Quinn. Wouldn't mind, wouldn't mind Oliver, uh, 
Disappointing, that's fine. Did anything grow between Oliver and Cole Quinn? I don't think so, but Nakamura and Owens goes level two, which is good. This goes level two, which is good. Undertaker versus Chosen. Undertaker wins. Rivalry started between Undertaker and Chosen. Okay, not, not exactly what I was looking for. And then a tag team title match, Mark and Joe Coffey versus Buck and Matador. The Gallus Bros win again in a great three and a half star match. And that grows to level two rivalry. I mean, pretty good week, especially for week two. Very happy about this. We basically stay on par with everybody. Uh, NXT Black and Gold's been winning that second mid card uh, slot each week so far, but uh, not bad. Odyssey Rift, stamina still okay. Uh, Jordan Oliver's stamina is getting a bit low, but his popularity is going up almost at 40. Chosen stamina good. Undertaker stamina still good. We like that. And then the stamina getting a bit low between these guys here, but we're going to make a, this a call out promo anyway for next week. Um, Adrian Buck popularity of 50. May have made a mistake by only signing him for six weeks. But uh, no, it's good stuff. Good stuff. NXT show quality, match card quality B for 44,000 fans. Uh, that's a big drop off because they didn't play any uh, cards there that uh, this week. Raw, 41,000 fans. Show uh, Match card quality C for ECW for a shade under 44 and a half. And over on SmackDown, match card quality C this time. Okay, so the drop off from last week and for 41,000. Uh, I like tonight's SmackDown. Keep it coming. Holy crap, Owen just blindsided Nakamura. So who the hell is this chosen signed sign as cat and fodder, I guess? Yeah, The Undertaker just uh, burying the young guys on the roster. <laughs> they gotta pay the dues, says, says Taker. Oliver and Quinn gave Nakamura a real run for his money in that match. Not enough in the end, though. Okay. Odyssey and Whitney Quaid are completely at each other's throats. How's this gonna end? Liv calling out Bailey tonight and hitting the target. Good promo. We got the veto star from Triple H. Which is good, but we did drop the third. Um, we are about, what, 15,000 behind NXT, but that was basically their, um, that was their power card that they played. I didn't play a power card last week, which may have been a mistake. Uh, the recent acquisition of Adrian is doing better than I expected. Um, ooh. Thanks, Triple H. Get schooled. Unfortunately, it's get schooled one, which is only five in ring XP. Uh, I'm, cl <laughs> um, again, you know what, this does fit in to what we're trying to do here. Um, Joe Coffey claiming he's the best, uh, the best raw, uh, the best sma uh, superstar on the roster. So he wants to fight the Undertaker. Um, maybe it is time to give you a bigger challenge. I'll make it happen. Okay. Uh, eight, oh, the only problem is that I can't do... Oh, that's so devastating. Ensure that your least popular available cruiser is in a map this week. Bargain bin. Okay. Uh, who is that, by the way? That is a uh, cruiser chosen. So chosen's got to be in a match this week. Um, oh, Joe Coffee. Why do you have to also be against Adrian, though? Oh, that's fine. Um, okay, so Chosen is going to be in a match with... Uh, not The Undertaker. With Cole Quinn. We need to get uh, Joke... Whoops. Joke Coffee, where are you? Against Adrian and The Undertaker for some reason gotta happen what so that's good that's actually gonna help with triple threat matches we certainly need to start doing that for sure um without any injuries that's good okay uh how are the champions looking stamina good for shinsuke 55 and 67 which is good and same thing with you two right 
one have next week off a singles match shouldn't hurt too much this week I think we can do this and it's gonna look pretty solid a lot of people not on the show which is annoying though um, would really love to do a tag team call out ah, that's okay we are gonna go check uh, the talent scout see if anyone else is showing up here uh, red monsoon is back where I think I want to find uh, Grangero. I, th I think he's a cruiser, if I remember that correctly. I don't see him. I'll search one more. Hmm. So no Grangero right now, which is uh, that's unfortunate. Rangbald. <laughs> Josie Jane is that's is, again is that another one from uh is that another one from My Rise? Interesting. Carrie Rush, we got Neon Bright Star. Okay. Uh, we'll leave that for now. Um Okay, we can do I think we're gonna do a charity. Um from Mark Coffee. We are gonna do a charity from Jor Ooh, promo skill five for Jordan Oliver. Let's go. Is that, is that just like a set for a call? Like you get promo skill level five, and we'll do a call out promo from Whitney Quaid on Odyssey Rift. Hopefully, make that four. Good, good. Um, do we want to increase our fans? Yes, is the answer. Playing a power card this week. Um, this can't be played before a PLE, so we'll just play it now over on NXT. Because I don't want to get Mick Foley upset because he has Cactus Jacked. So hopefully he'll play that uh, on somebody else. And yeah, I think we're good to go. Triple H is happy. Uh, Joe Coffee. Triple Threat, Fatal Four, Undertaker, and Adrian Buck. That's going to be granted, so he will be happy. Yeah, I think we're good to go. This match, I don't think, is going to get us the best rating, but that's okay. That's why it's in a mid card slot. And yeah. Yeah, okay, here we go. Two title matches as well. I like to see that. All right, so we're, our, our booking was kind of ham, hamstrung there by Joe Coffey's ask, but at the same time. Not too bad. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Kevin Owens is at level two title match. Shinsuke holds on to his title in a great three and a half star opener. That is at level three. Good. An okay promo from Whitney Quaid doesn't quite get it to level four rivalry. That's fine. Chosen versus Cole Quinn. Chosen picks up the win in a disappointing one and a half star match. Okay. Jordan Oliver. Ooh, excellent uh, charity promo. Let's go. Gets us seven and a half thousand fans. Here's Joe Coffey wanting his match here. The Undertaker wins. Good. Coffey and Buck start a, a rivalry. That's that's fine. Mark Coffey, weak promo. So almost 10,000 fans added by charity, which is good. And in the main event is Liv Morgan versus Bailey for the women's title. And Bailey is our new champion in an amazing four-star match. So I'm big things expected for, for this title and this rivalry on the uh, the PLE. Over on ECW, it is the tag team titles on the line, Austin Theory and Logan Paul. It's kind of a funny team against uh, against Gable and Anderson. And then you got uh, Josh Briggs, who is the champion, taking on Jimmy Uso in the main event. Over on Raw, tag team match with Rhea Ripley and Alba Fire taking on Italia and Tegan Knox. And the Raw tag team championships are on the line with Karrion Cross and Ivar taking on Cameron Grimes and Akira Tozawa. Interesting team there. And then Dexter Loomis is going to try to become a double champion here with uh, taking on Sol Sokoa, the North American champion. And once again, Alexa Bliss puts her title on the line against Rachel Gon uh, Raquel Gonzalez, Gonzalez. Sorry, It is a good week for everybody. Only Raw had an off show, actually, with a 2.5 star opener and three 
star closer. Everyone else, it was neck, almost exactly neck and neck. Um, ECW with a 3.5 star mid card match. What was that? Wow. Just a good performance from these two. Rivalry grows. Interesting. Good match from Kaiser and LA Knight. Uh, where are we? Here we are. Uh, performance was good. Title match was good. Rivalry gave it a little boost. Class matchup was okay. Uh, class matchup rolls. Okay. Way to go. Undertaker carrying that match. And this looking pretty solid as well. Uh, Kevin Owens' stamina is a bit low. How's Bailey's stamina? It's low. Probably have to give both the main titles uh, the week off. How's your stamina now, Joe and Adrian? Oof. Let's see. This next show might not be great. <laughs> we do, But we do still have the Intercontinental title, which is very, very true. I'm not even using that right now. Match card quality B, though. Love to see that. 53,000 fans, which is a pretty big number to have at week three. Uh, Nakamura gets revenge on Owens for that run in earlier uh, or in the other week. Good show tonight, SmackDown. Bailey settles the score with Liv Morgan. SmackDown has the best rivalries. Thank you, Muscle Rabbit. We have got Bailey takes the, the match from Liv Morgan. Could have gone either way. Tonight, SmackDown started strong and ended strong. I like it. Never seen Undertaker so dominant before. When was the last time he lost a fight? I like to see that. Nice work chosen, but you're going to need to step up against me. Says the Undertaker to Chosen. Interesting. ECW got show quality D, match card quality B. For, whoa, for 53 as well. Holy smokes. Wow. And that's zero charity coming from them. Okay, Mick Foley running a tight ship over there. Raw, we were expecting this. 41,000. Okay. So, but that, that does show that... I needed 10,000 fans of, of charity uh, to get there, which is not great. Because <laughs> um, we only want to add 2,000 more than Raw. And NXT, Black and Gold, what are they doing? There was a charity promo there for 51,000 fans. So we gained a little bit of ground on them. We got Bargain Bin Special Effect from Triple H. And we are still in third place, uh, slightly behind uh, ECW and 12,000 behind NXT black and gold. So one week to Hell in a Cell. Uh, thanks for the match against Undertaker and Buck. I kind of knew they had to team up the cheap, the way to die, to die me a victory. The crowd could see who the best fighter was. Uh, no increase, that's unfortunate. Uh, seems reasonable, easy way to make Liv happy there. Was that, uh, that just promising her a rematch? Do not book your most popular bruiser this week. Who cannot be booked? Not a not a show I can just say I uh, don't want to book my most popular bruiser, which is Kevin Owens. Uh, he needed the week off anyway, but just off off is like kind of kind of brutal. Um, I guess I guess I'd rather have happen before the PLE. Right, that's you're still happy with that, okay? And let's, I guess, just to make sure that it is Kevin. Yeah, okay. Um, Kevin Owens needs the week off, which is unfortunate. I think we have to go sign some people. Um, okay. You two are needed here for sure. We are gonna need. Uh, Undertaker and Chosen, I guess, will be a match as well. Adrian Buck. Wow. Okay. Cole Quinn, Jordan Oliver can have a match here. And I don't think. Wow. So I can't book Kevin Owens. Triple H said no. Uh, Mark and Joe Coffey. Stamina is a little low just for Adrian Buck. Um, okay, I think we're going to go test the talent pool quickly. Checking power cards first, though. Cannot be used week 25. Remove all quality votes for all opposing brand in next week's show. So we're going to play this next for, for the PLE. This will be the, the, the power card we play uh, this week. Probably should have saved that a bit longer, maybe even till WrestleMania, but just fun to see how that one works. 
Now to go see the uh, Talon pool. This is five grand each, which is a little devastating. Um, class cruiser. Let's check out Stack McSlacks. EO Sky. Okay. Um, let's try that one more time. Wow, where is El Grin, Grin, uh, Grangero? I keep forgetting his name. Okay, so not here. That's kind of unfortunate. And then I guess we'll do one search of the rookies. Clint McDougal, that's <laughs> so funny. Okay. Uh, Trixie Gambit, Clay Cortman, Clint McDougal is hilarious. Um, do I want to sign? Oh, that, was, that was a lot of money. We're going to go and sign two of these. Hopefully get a class matchup. Can we do that in... No, we can't, unfortunately. That is pretty devastating. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, so we are going to do... Um... I guess we have to do either Andrea Cannon. Oh, we'll do Sammy George because we haven't done it. We haven't used her yet in this game. So we'll just sign her for five weeks. And then we're going to also sign Neon Bright Star because we haven't used her yet either. There we go. So that will be the other match. Again, this week is going to struggle a little bit. Um, yeah. Kind of throwing a wrench in the plans there, Triple H. But um, no worries. So this is the opener, and this, I guess, will be the close. What is some of the match specialties? TLC, Steel Cage, Undertaker stamina is 50. Um, but I, I, you know what? I want this to end. So we're going to do a Steel Cage match, <laughs> end this rivalry, and then uh, give Undertaker the week off for a few weeks. Um, yeah. No, that's fine. Um, stamina is okay here. We'll do a tables match just to add a little something. And then we can do a call out promo from Liv Morgan to Bailey. And then we can do a tag team call out from who I think it's Adrian Buck was the lowest stamina. So we'll do it from the Gallus boys to them to hopefully raise that to level three. Okay, so hopefully, <laughs> yeah, hopefully, oh, yikes, we can get this done here. We're going to check on the, so Triple H is happy. What will we get at least? Ah, not even that good a card. Um, 10 shows with a tag team call out. Good. Triple threat matches. We're going to leave for now. Uh, five shows. That, yeah, that's 12, right? Two, actually, maybe not eight yeah 12 good so that, that was i've never seen that one before that's an interesting card but uh yeah we're good to go uh i yeah i booked the other show logistic which is good confirm booking interesting main event here uh, but yeah that's fine uh tamina versus scarlet in the opener at nxt uh, all normal matches no title matches and just a triple threat in the main event over on raw Axiom, Elton Price again, and Dom Mysterio versus Bra uh, Braun Strowman in the main event. All normal matches again. ECW, we got, so, got a couple title matches here. Logan Paul and Austin Theory are now tag team champion, and Jimmy Uso won back the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. And over on SmackDown, tables match between Whitney Quaid and Odyssey Rift. Hopefully get another three-star match. Only okay, that's fine. Uh, Whitney Quaid wins that one two and a half star opener which is not great but it goes to level four rivalry which is good this goes to level four rivalry which is good Neon Bright Star versus Sammy George Neon Bright Star picks up the win rivalry was started okay Liv Morgan weak promo but it goes to level four so we're gonna have three level four rivalries on the PLE which is good Jordan Oliver versus Cole Quinn Cole Quinn picks up the win over Jordan Oliver a dull one-star match, unfortunate. Good promo that goes to level three. So now that's we're gonna have at least at least four things paying off at this PLE, which is good. Uh, Undertaker versus Chosen in a steel cage match. 
and The Undertaker remains undefeated in an amazing four-star match. Love to see it. Uh, at least we ended with a bang, but so did everyone else apparently, except for Black and Gold. Uh, Tyler Breeze will not be happy that I played uh, that card against him. Uh, popularity performance was not bad between these two, which is good. Um, match type was just kind of dull. That's fine. They're both good for the PLE. Uh, wrong button. NXT did a show quality, match card quality. See for thirty-four and a half thousand fans. That's the lowest we've seen so far. Raw does match card quality B for 47,000. Okay. ECW had a pretty good show. 53,000. Wow. ECW, man. Show quality C from SmackDown. Just as I, ha I just had to say something about Raw. Eh? And we lost money too. Um, <laughs> okay. Happy to fight you anytime, Nakamura. Only way it ends from Kevin Owens. From chosen, not sure you're the better, not sure the better superstar won tonight. Be seeing you again, Undertaker. Okay, uh, Undertaker is perfect for steel cage matches. Put him in another one, maybe in a couple weeks. Big thank you to the fans for the support in beating Sammy George. It's all thanks to you. Can't smack them. Give us a bit more variety. Let's see some superstars with different classes. Okay, that's weird. I, I, I don't even know what class I didn't use on the show. Uh, can't wait for the final showdown between Odyssey and Whitney Quaid. Okay. So made Triple H happy again. Very if, what if, whatever power card. Uh, we are 96,000 fans out of last place, which is uh, a little scary. We are now over 20,000 fans behind ECW. But hopefully that uh, the power card we played will, uh, will give us some... The power card was was so devastating it made OBS crash again, but this hurts a lot. Okay, you're not gonna like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gallus guys and Nakamura are off the show. Uh, what was that stunt you just? Oh yeah, because I guess he was affected that way. Okay. Um, okay. Under this this is not good. This is not good at all. Just another caution. Yeah. Okay, not, yeah, okay, what do you need, Undertaker? Sure, get some rest. Thanks, Posh. I, this is this is crazy. Ensure that your least popular available giant is in a match this week. I th I, that's, that's, I'm pretty sure that's the Undertaker. <laughs> um, we, no, no, Sammy, uh, no, it's um, Odyssey Rift. Whew, this is not good. <laughs> Odyssey Rift against Whitney Quaid with Triple H, you're happy, right? Yeah, okay. Wow. Wow, okay. Um. This is going to have to come through for us big time. That's going to go over here. Um, Undertaker needs time off. Uh, okay, that is something that's going on, and that's it for now. Holy smokes. Wow. And then what else do we do here? That is crazy. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, what to do? I think the homecoming card might be in use here. And then I just realized I can't even, now I can't pay off the tag team title match. Because, and then I only signed those two for five weeks. So I have to sign them again for the next run. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and book the Hell in the Cell PLE. Wow, that is crazy. Okay, talent scout, what do we got here? Let's go and just search a few of you guys. Okay, there's the other Gallus boy, got Wolfgang. Wow. That is crazy. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, so let's see. What do we have left here for this show? Um, Chosen, Matador. I feel like Kevin Owens is the, the way to go. Um, wow. Get Kevin Owens in a match somehow. And then that would leave two guys to do promos. This is crazy. What? Uh, Joe Gacy. We have not used him yet. Um, I don't think it makes sense to... We don't have money at all. Uh, Red Monsoon. Lurch Evans. Wow, this is crazy. We're going to go ahead and sign all three of these. Lurch Evans, we're going to sign Gunther McGurder. <laughs> That's a great name. Uh, all for six weeks. Just so we can finish out this show here. Uh, Kevin Owens, whoops. Um, triple threat. Kevin Owens, specialists, and. Wait, sorry, hold on. Cruiser and Specialist, maybe. We could throw a title match there if we wanted to. This is going to go here. Um, I'm going to need you two to put on a great show. Um, unfortunately, both of you guys still are in ring is under five. Right? One. Uh, just one. Okay. Um, what is the PLE branded... Is there a bonus here? I guess it would be Hell in the Cell, wouldn't it? Yeah. So we don't have that, but so this one is going to be a TLC match, while this one is going to be an Extreme Rules because that is Liv's uh, match specialty. We're looking for any type of bonus we can get here. And the show, I, holy smokes, I wouldn't be able to do any, because I can do a tag team call out, right? You two are still available. We can do that. Um, we can do, I don't think I have enough money for a charity promo, which is absolutely insane. Wow. That is crazy. Okay. So McGurder, you're doing advertising. I guess everyone else just try to get us a little bit of cash, right? Uh, Red Monsoon, and then because I made this a triple threat, I even leaving an open spot here because the Undertaker does not want to be booked. That what a what a power card. Um, uh, from from Mick Foley, that is crazy. This episode has gone on a little bit long, so I don't think I'll be speculating uh, a match this uh, this episode, um, which is. Unfortunate. Sorry, everybody, for who liked to see the the, the spectate match. Um, because we still have, we still have some trades to make after this, so uh, we're still not even close to ending this episode. I'm very very nervous <laughs> that we are gonna be left in the dust here. Uh, we didn't play. We did not play a card this week, so we might as well play uh, something here. We'll do, I guess. Yeah, let's just give someone XP, right? Um, who could benefit from this? We'll go... Um, let's go Whitney Quaid. Perfect. So there we go. All right, let's see how this... Go I am very, very nervous about a P about this card when it comes to PLEs normally there's no sweat I'm I know I'm gonna do a great show this is where I usually make back all of the ground that I've lost but uh, here we go so TLC match between Odyssey Rift and Whitney Quaid Odyssey Rift picks up the win three and a half star match not terrible but you usually want at least uh, amazing booking from that, so this may have been a mistake, also. I realized because I don't want to make anything stale, 
But we got a tag team call out on the show, so that worked. Kevin Owens versus Chosen versus Lurch Evans. Kevin Owens picks up the win. Two and a half star match. Okay, he's the new Intercontinental Champion. And we have title versus title now. Uh, popularity minus seven for $1,000. So that definitely wasn't worth it. Jordan Oliver versus Cole Quinn. Jordan Oliver picks up the win. One star match again, which is really unfortunate. It's now a level two rivalry though. Red Monsoon, same thing. This is uh, this is brutal right now. Neon Bright Star versus Sammy George. Neon picks up the win. I'm having one star matches on a PLE, which is really not good. Um, and in the main event, Extreme Rules, Liv Morgan versus Bailey. Liv Morgan is champion once again in a classic four and a half star match. Basically the only good match on this card. Wow. Wow. We are in trouble. So Giovanni Vinci vs. LA Knight for the title. That's going to get... They, they were getting four or three and a half star matches normal with nothing on the line. So this is going to be a really good match. And same thing in that main event. But no promo slots booked from ECW, which is interesting. Uh, over on Raw, there's a triple threat women's championship match to open things up. And the main event is, again, Grimes and uh, Elton Price. Normal match, nothing on the line. And over on NXT Black and Gold... Uh, Scarlet versus Tamina, a call-out promo, nothing else booked, and then Finn Balor puts his title on the line against Sol Sokoa. Yeah. ECW with a crazy show, uh, which makes sense. Raw struggled also. Wow, Raw really struggled. That is crazy bad from Raw. Um... Yeah, I know. I know we had two one-star matches. Trust me, don't get me wrong. But Raw had three one-and-a-half-star matches, a two-star main event, and a two-and-a-half-star opener. That's that's horrible. NXT Black and Gold probably slightly better than us, but ECW the easy winner on uh, on this occasion. Okay. So match card quality C for PLE and 84,000 fans. I know is not good. That is really, really not good. What the heck was Sammy George thinking? Taking an easy way over a match with that DQ. Okay. Uh, Liv getting pushed around a lot lately on SmackDown. Can't believe I lost money on Jordan Oliver breaking that losing streak. <laughs> way to go, Jordan Oliver. Uh, Kevin Owens takes the belt and he had to work hard to fend off Chosen and Evans. Uh, Chosen came close before Kevin Owens secured the victory. Lurch Evans never looked like winning. Okay. Little nervous here. This this should get over a hundred thousand. Yeah, for sure. That is a huge, huge. Wow, one hundred twenty-seven thousand. Okay. Raw, yeah, not great from Raw. Yeah, seventy-six thousand. That makes sense. But at least they made fifty-six grand. Over on NXT, I think they were slightly better than us. Yeah, they were at ninety. Okay. Well, we got some work to do to catch ECW. That's for sure. Uh, we got the Get Schooled card uh, 3, which is really good. Uh, Two Bit Arena, okay. So we are in third place after five weeks. Right, but well, right, uh, I was going to say right behind second, that's not true. 20,000 fans behind NXT Black and Gold, and like 70 something behind Mick Foley and ECW. So we have a trade coming here 13,000 for monsoon and mcgurder uh that actually seems like a good deal i didn't accept that one because double what they're worth and they both went down look look red monsoon has a popularity of eight so i didn't accept that I, I need money thank you tyler breeze so no other trades though so that's kind of devastating um do I want to trade Bailey to try to get some money and a new specialist and or giant for Liv Morgan? So let's see. Um, fighter, fighter. Get Tiffany Stratton back. And she has good stamina. Interesting. Maybe we can do that, actually. Tiffany Stratton uh, for Bailey. But then she's also 130. If I can kind of st strap Foley here, this could make sense. And Bailey's still annoyed for some reason. I don't know why she's not liking the brand. 
let's try this and see what happens. Today is not OBS's day, uh, but trade accepted as you can see here. Uh, I think that's a good trade. And then, so now we have 233, who else? We still have so many rivalries ongoing, which is big, um, but I don't have anyone else I can get rid of, I think, at the moment, because that's gonna start a new rivalry, which is good. The Undertaker still needs a week off. Um, Odyssey with Whitney Quaid and Odyssey Rift, having this as a value right now is pretty crazy. Um, so I think I might go to try to build someone new again. Let's uh, let's see here. Odyssey Rift. Or actually, no. Odyssey Rift is actually the one to probably keep because it's harder to find heal giants. Am I right with this? Cruiser. Specialist Bruiser. I don't think we're going to get Mummy. Uh, so no, we're going to NXT. Cruiser. Cruiser Face Giant. A lot of women over on NXT. Hold on. So let's, is Whitney Quaid? She is a cruiser. So let's go Whitney Quaid actually instead. Whitney Quaid for a hundred grand. Proposed trade. What are you thinking? It says no. Trade decline. That's almost acceptable. Try again. Whitney Quaid for 95,000. Not gonna give me anything, eh? All right, so she's worth 91. Let's go for 90 then. Whoops, let's go for 90. What do you say here? There we go. Making some money from NXT. Your out of trade proposals, no problem. And trading, that's it, okay. We have a lot coming in. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and extend these two for five weeks. So this is why we need money. Okay, good. Um, okay, let's talk figures. Your, uh, that's fine. Your opening offer, I'm happy to meet that price. We'll just say this for now uh, for these two. Okay, let's talk figures. Okay, I'm happy to meet that price. How much was that price actually? 34. Okay, uh, you better up your A game, yeah. Uh, okay. Wait a minute here. Uh, this is the cutting edge stuff. I can't afford, uh, I'm gonna pass. Can't pass up free, trade him up. Uh, I'll trade him, wait, so what is this getting to train? Uh, I guess I, I should train the, get the Undertaker stamina back up because he needs next, this week off anyway. So let's just do that. So get free for the Undertaker, good. Thanks for my time. So our champion is very happy. We'd like to see that. And then Undertaker, you don't seem to realize this, but I'm a bit of a master on the mic. Uh-oh. Wait, this guy just asked for two weeks off. This is the second week, and now he wants to make his mark during tonight's show, and he's gonna be away. Didn't want this to happen, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> um, I'm gonna say sounds good, and then uh, hopefully he doesn't get upset because he's away trading. Uh, okay, a leg up gain four power cards. That would probably be pretty good, except for the fact that um, I can only play one power card per week. Select the superstar. The superstar is using a match. You gain a thousand fans. Fighter superstars triple the cost, but double the fan gain from charity promos. Uh, fan favorite, I think. And who is it going to be? Who is it gonna be? Hmm. 
I think it's going to be Matt Adore because I'm going to need him for the tag team title feud as well as just getting in getting other matches in I'm gonna go Matador and hopefully this doesn't bite me got a beginner's luck that's thanks to the Undertaker and uh, that's where we're gonna call it so I I'm I'm feeling this is this is way more difficult um, this is this is more difficult i'm feeling i feel like that i'm feeling the buffs right now which is good from the ai difficulty ecw is uh far in the lead right now uh mick, Ro uh, mick foley running a tight ship over there but uh, if uh, if you've watched this far gotta appreciate it thank you guys uh for the continued support on this channel and on these videos if you haven't already please like this video subscribe to the channel and uh, share this video with your friends that goes a long way and uh, i thank you guys so much the second episode of the teddy long smackdown series will be dropping wednesday at 9 a.m and as always thanks for watching